Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm just gonna do a Bible journaling entry in my Bible. And I thought maybe you and I both could use a little bit of break from all of the product. I know it's we're gearing up for holiday season, and so there's a lot of different companies and things releasing devotionals and kits and products and fun things and Happy Meal and all kind of stuff out there. And I love sharing that with you guys. That's something I really enjoy doing and I love playing with all that kind of stuff. Um, but I just wanted to sit down and just kind of take a break and um, Bible journal and share it with you guys on here on, on video. So what I have here is the um, workshop from Illustrated Faith. This is Power Filled Prayers. This was written by Tanya Hamilton. This came out last year and I actually purchased this a few months ago when it was on sale. And it's just been sitting on my computer waiting for me to have a spare moment to jump in and work through it and I thought quit dragging my feet I need to just jump in um, and get through it I love Tanya's writing and her devotionals if you're familiar she does weekly devotionals usually um, with illustrated face she'll go through series and do weekly devotionals she's written for revival camp um, she's writing devotionals herself over on her website I've shared some of that and so um, and she's just a dear friend and so I really wanted to sit down I love the colors I love the imagery of this kit and I'm not going to do any crazy techniques today I am just going to basically journal and let you guys watch there really is nothing like crazy complicated I'm just going to um, play with some acrylic paints you all know that's not my favorite medium to play with um, but it's pretty quick and easy I thought about maybe doing some neo 2 color crayon or neo color to crayons um, but I don't want to get water I don't want to make a big mess I just want to kind of keep it easy um, and these were colors that coordinate with the um, kit this is a little printable from week one and you can see these colors match this is um the golden rods a little bit off but it'll work golden rod sherbert jade and robin's egg these are all paints from target and um i printed I wanted to print things on clear sticker paper, but I'm all out of clear sticker paper. And I also ran into the verse for week one is Joshua 1.8. And this couldn't have been more timely because um, our sermon on Sunday was in the book of Joshua um, from, I believe it was from verse like four or six, all the way to nine in Joshua. And Joshua 1.9 was my study verse last year. And so I sat down to print all this and realized that the week one verse is Joshua 1.8. So perfect timing. And when I opened it up in my illustrating Bible, the first page has the name of the book. And so I'm gonna need to cover that up. So I did go ahead and just print things on cardstock. That way I could kind of work around covering up the title and have some more space there and yeah so there's lots of printables in the um kit that you can print out and then she has these fun kind of like mad lib style um prayers that you can use word fetty and kind of customize and so yeah i'm not going to do anything crazy i'm just gonna put some paint down and kind of go at it and um, the verse is Joshua 1 8 it says do not turn from it to the right or the left so that you will have success wherever you go this book of instruction must not depart from your mouth you are to meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful uh, so that you may carefully carefully observe everything written in it um, for then you will prosper and succeed in whatever you do and then verse one, uh, 9 is my favorite. It says, Haven't I commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So meditate on it day and night. So let's just dive in, and let's just kind of play with paint, and I'll let you guys watch. Okay, so to start with, we need to deal with the Joshua title. So I'm going to go ahead and use some white acrylic paint to cover up the part that's going to show um, uh, after I place that photo down. Now I'm using white acrylic paint. I knew better. White gesso works so much better for covering up things like this. And I knew that, but I was just too lazy. I've rearranged my craft space and it's not totally done. And so things are just kind of all hard to find. And uh, so I just reached for this. So it took several coats of white paint. I would apply a coat, dry it, apply a coat, dry it, apply a coat, dry it. Um, and then finally got it most of the way uh, covered, you can see there. So 
learn from my mistake, use white gesso. And at this point I opened up all the paints and I was so lazy. I did not want to wash brushes. I already had to wash that brush that I'd used for the white paint. And I kind of looked at the paint and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to finger paint. Let's just get messy. So my whole comment about not getting messy. Yeah, that went out the door. Uh, I've really been wanting to try this for a while and I thought, what the heck, why not now? Just, just, let's just go crazy. Now this does apply the paint pretty thickly. So I'm being careful not to go over the text with it, um, in this way because it will cover the text. And so with this Bible, you have a really huge margin. So I'm just keeping it to the margin and at first I'm kind of tentative and not adding a whole lot of paint. And then I get in there and really kind of go crazy, um, scrubbing paint. I will say one thing that's really awesome about the pages in this Bible is it's very smooth paper. And so going over it with your finger like this, your finger just glides over the page. It was really nice for finger painting. <laughs> if you're looking for a Bible, it's good for finger painting. So I'm going to go through and just add a variety of um, swatches, kind of mimicking the look of the printables. And so... Um, you can see what that's going to look like there. If you can hear my dog chewing on her bone in the background, I am sorry. It's it's late. It's like 8.30 at night and the dogs always get super active at this time of night. And it's always when I sit down to do a voiceover. I don't understand <laughs> why that is. So I'm sorry. Uh, I had to cut out them barking already in this um, video. So that that's the hashtag dog life, I guess. That's just how it is at my house. You can see there at the bottom, I did get some of the paint on the scripture and I just really quickly used my paper towel to wipe it off and um, get it off the text so that you could see the text. And now I'm just going back in and just adding um, some more paint here and there. Gosh, the uh, bone chewing is really obnoxious. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I pulled out my uh, stamp set that I put together. I have a Tip Tuesday. I'll try to find it, link it down below. It's an older Tip Tuesday. Showing how I pulled all of these texture stamps from all of the different like illustrated face stamps I have and put them on one stamp set. That way they're easy to grab a hold of. So I have no idea where this little cross stamp came from. It's from an older illustrated face set. And I am using some archival ink to stamp. I don't typically use this ink, but since I'm stamping over the top of really thick acrylic paint, I want to use a permanent ink. Um, if I used my VersaFine ink, it doesn't dry over paint like this very easily. And so I went ahead and went with this and figured I don't really have to worry too much about bleed through because I am stamping over the top of the acrylic paint. So it worked, it worked for that. So now we can start um, kind of assembling things here. And this scripture here, uh, Tanya for week one is sharing this really neat idea with us. She's talking about praying scripture. So actually using scripture as our prayer. And this is an idea that's not new to me. Um, I took a workshop from um, Jess Robin. She is Bumble and Bristle. She was with the Illustrated Faith for a while. She had a workshop in Riverside a couple years ago and I went to it and she kind of taught this idea of praying scripture and she actually took us through um, a psalm and we all kind of round table went around and prayed the psalm. And so if you're somebody who's just at a loss, you don't know what to pray, this is a great place to start because there are so many examples in the Bible of similar instances of things that we experience and that we go through. You know, here Joshua is taking over Moses's place. Moses has passed away and, and he's afraid and he's nervous and doesn't think that he is prepared for this task that God is giving him. And, um, and so him and God are kind of having this conversation. And, and so I, I don't know about you, but there's been lots of times that I'm kind of afraid and not sure of something that God is calling me to. And, um, here we're talking about, um, keeping God's word with us and meditating on it. And, um, in the sermon that we had on Sunday, he's talking, the, uh, pastor was talking about um, sharing the word of God with our kids and letting that resonate and go on through um, generations and how important that is and and so I love that Tanya shared this this kind of skill I guess of praying the scriptures so she's got this little mad lib and I'm going to go ahead and write it out as opposed to cutting it and pasting it there. And basically what she's doing is she's taking the scripture of Joshua 1.8 and you are substituting the you words um, as God is speaking to Joshua and making it um, first person. So 
Um, I'm changing it to say, your word will not depart from my mouth, but I will meditate on it day and night so that I may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then I will make my way prosperous and then I will have good success. And this isn't adding to or taking away from scripture. Um, This is just using scripture to pray through scripture. And um, I love that she kind of put it together this way. I didn't, I hadn't even really looked at this class until I printed it. And I am so excited to dig in and continue on through the future weeks. Um, I'm not sure how many I'll show on here. Um, I'll pop in periodically and kind of share with you guys what I'm doing. Um, but you can see the entry is really simple. It was just some paint, did some um, writing. The title there, in G- so it'll say, um, meditate on it day and night in Jesus' name, amen. Um, in Jesus' name, I popped up on some foam adhesive for no real reason other than, hey, I have a spiral bound Bible and I can add all the chunk that I want. So I did the same thing for that uh, Joshua 1.8 piece down there. I also added some foam adhesive to it and popped it up just to add some interest to you know a page that otherwise is pretty not plain because there is a lot of color but it's not overly complicated as far as technique goes so that is it for the entry today if you have any questions or comments be sure to leave those down below check out the description box for links to everything i mentioned including this class from tanya it's a must have you're gonna want to grab it Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and until next time thank you so much Bye bye